How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be explaining how I unlocked 99 overall Jackie Robinson for free in MLB The Show 22. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now if you watch the videos that I'm going to link in the comment section down below, this video will make a lot more sense because I'm going to be moving through this pretty quickly because this right now is Fast and the Furious market flipping in MLB The Show 22 because of exactly what happened today. So as you can see, I have unlocked Jackie Robinson. I wanna take you through some of the content as well as explain exactly what I did in order to pretty much break even. I think this is a million stub card or right around there. It's probably dropped in price since some of this brand new stuff was released, but I did not pay anywhere close to that price. I definitely made stubs in certain areas based off of the home run derby cards and the all-star cards, mainly the base round players that I was talking about in my previous videos. Now, I think personally tonight would be a great time and potentially tomorrow uh, to purchase some of those all-star game home run derby cards. I have already purchased them because I don't mind if they go down in price from where they're at currently. They in fact will go down in price later on. Um, but the all-star game program cards have significantly dropped due to the fact that we got two conquest maps that offer 15k XP the David Ortiz if you collect for another uh, 15k XP there We also have another showdown that or a brand new showdown that's taken place uh, For an additional 15 to 20k XP somewhere in that range. Uh, we got this surprise Jason Dominguez This card looks really good, um, but to get back to what I was talking about right Jackie Robinson's price will fluctuate right now is a really good time to lock in these all-star game and home run derby cards because of this all-star program right here. Once the packs leave the pack store, these cards are going to go up again because this program, most people will have already completed it for this 97 overall Miguel Cabrera. Now, I did not complete this before unlocking Jackie Robinson and there's a very simple reason as to why. I wanted to explain all of this and make this in this video, but I was able to double up on my stubs off of these home run derby cards. I feel confident in saying that I honestly predicted every single thing possible with this program. If you're watching the videos, then you had an opportunity to make a ton of stubs. The cards were at a much increased price earlier on. And take a look at the market now. They have significantly dropped off. The market has crashed exactly what I was expecting. And right now is a pretty good opportunity to buy those players, right? Take a look at the price right here. And then take a look at what happened when they dropped that pack. Boom. I know some of the players flip-flopped in certain areas. The rare round players dropped in price, not quite halfway, kind of what I was expecting, but they also included the pack at the end of the program rather than the beginning, which would have caused these cards to tank in price down to the quick sell value. Instead, the base round players doubled up in price due to that factor, and these cards will drop down, right? As I'm going through this video, you'll see the price of these cards drop down but by the time they drop, I'll have already sold most of mine as this is very fast and furious right right now. I wanted to make sure that those packs were still in the pack store. I'm like, why did these cards go up so much right away? Did they take them out? Because when they do, these cards are going to go up that much more. You might want to invest in some of these mid-round players for the all-star game pack. I know that sounds interesting. They're not any good, but they are needed for the Jackie Robinson collection. Now that we have this Miguel Cabrera, you don't need all of the all-star game and home run derby cards. So that will also affect their price, right? That will cause some of these players to drop down. But most people are going to want to lock in these base round players, some of the lower overall players. For me, I'm just going to get every single one of them because I want to be able to play with all the different cards in the game. But as you can see, I'm putting up buy orders for other program bosses. I'm putting up sell orders for these all-star game cards and I'm gonna end up breaking even. Like look how many stubs I have right now. And I started the video with 500,000. This morning when I woke up, I had 500,000. You can check the previous videos if you don't believe me. But I also had a lot of stubs invested. After selling them all, I probably earned about a million back and then I spent, you know, right around a million on this Jackie Robinson. It is an opportunity cost. And I, I really feel confident in saying that I knew all of this was going to happen. Like I tried my best to help every single person out. And the timing on this is a variable. I don't know when the best time to buy some of these cards are. But I know that right now, for the second day that Jackie Robinson is available, this is an extremely low price for that card's worth. And later on, he will go up. 
and then way down, right? Just like we see with Joe Maurer. Look at Joe Maurer, look at Babe Ruth. Those cards fluctuated in price, cover athletes, Takashi packs. Um, but I completed the conquest. I completed a lot of this program so far. I'm at about 240,000 XP. So I have earned several of these packs as well. Every pack I earn from here on out, I could keep and try to time and make a profit, or I could just sell it and potentially invest those stubs in other areas because I didn't want to leave myself with zero stubs at all. And the specific reason for that is because I don't want to be stuck with Jackie Robinson and then have to work my way all the way back up to a million studs. I want to have a great baseline, and that is why I did not unlock Jackie Robinson last night. I could have unlocked him right away. I could have gotten every single card that was released. I could have overspent, and I did that last year. And this year, I went at a different approach. I tried to help out as many people as I could and do it in a smarter way. This is not the smartest way to unlock Jackie Robinson. You can wait. If you're not a content creator, you don't necessarily need him on your team right this second. Use one of the home run derby cards like Corey Seager or Jose Ramirez. Use one of the all-star game players for a little while until these cards maybe drop even more. Once more conquests are released, once more showdowns are released, th this stuff is going to affect the game. And you want to be able to have you know a good opportunity to make stubs moving forward. You never want to handcuff yourself to where you're limited on your profit margin, right? And and I'm not an expert on this stuff. I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. I lost like 45,000 stubs the other day because I bought Takashi cards at the wrong time. Now, I've already made all those stubs back. I could care less about that 45,000. And right now might be a good time to invest in those Takashi players. I think we're getting another Takashi collection. I think we're going to get a part two to this George Brett collection. And Jackie Robinson will certainly be a voucher in that area. And I have, you know, all the future stars as well. I haven't even redeemed that voucher. I don't have every single card in the game, but I'm probably missing less than 50 cards, uh, probably less than 40, maybe even less than 20. I don't know. I'd have to look at my inventory and check it out. But I, I plan on getting almost every single card in the game. And uh, this is exactly how I did it. So I'm going to go ahead and take you through the binder. I know I could hit the square button and auto select all of these players, but I wanted to just show you right that we have the Miguel Cabrera, which is the 46th card, but you don't necessarily need him, right? You have to collect all but one player at the current moment. There could be more release later on. There could be flashback home run derby players. This next event on the 26th is going to affect the market once again. We might get more packs. The ranked seasons reward players could potentially be all-star game guys, right? We don't know. There's a good chance that they won't be, but who knows what's going to happen if they include any extra players in this collection. But that is how I got Jackie Robinson with 800,000 to 900,000 stubs remaining. And I plan on making, you know, another million stubs here pretty soon. That's going to do it. I'm hope I hope I was able to help you out in some way. I'm College Lefty, and peace out.